Welcome to Notability, where every page tells a story. And today, I would like you to show you the way I plan and the way I do my productivity in my FileFX A5 molding. So, in one of my previous videos, I mentioned that I separate my work life and my personal life, and this is my almost 100% work related item this has helped me it helps me with organizing my work uh doing a lot of things and uh, the most important part is not forgetting uh sm even small minor things so it's all what i do have i combine here a uh, monthly view um uh, weekly view week on two pages and also i prepared some uh, paper here a day on two pages. So this layout, this insert, I download it and print it out. I download it from uh, FileFXE blogspot, so you can go there and find it. And this one came with uh, with the planner itself. So what I basically do is I do my main calendar is uh, iCloud. It's an iCloud, uh, that's my main calendar where I keep all my work and all my family stuff. That's what we call master calendar. And every week and every day I do this. I go through my master calendar and I mark things for the following week. Let's say this is, uh, we are in December and we are, what we are doing right now, we are planning our, the first week of January. And I know that, okay, at uh, 10 a.m. I have to have to go to uh, our friends. It will take us about 30 minutes to drive. So I book this 30 minutes time and we will be there from around 10, maybe to 1 p.m. So I block this time here and I say friends. And I also do all other activities. Okay, this is... Uh, something something with kids and we go to the city etc now we're planning our uh, my business day my work day i know that usually uh, i go through my calendar and i do all this stuff i know from eight to nine i have my morning meetings my morning meetings after then i have other time and i usually block that calendar time for tasks tasks one this is my uh, lunch where I usually either walk or row. And I plan this day for, I plan the whole week. Let's say our whole week of uh, January, from January the 1st has been marked and planned. And I review it by the end of the day. I review if any, anything change, changed or not. And uh, this is the pro advice so all those meetings that happen regularly you can put them in i use a pen but if a meeting that uh, happens occasionally and there is a possibility for that meeting to be rescheduled just put it in uh, i don't know in a pencil it will always be easier to erase and rewrite it now we are going to our day on two pages uh, view where before every evening, before the day, uh, so before I go to bed, I sit and I spend maybe five, ten minutes max to plan my day. I do the same. I transfer all my meetings, my morning meetings, my task. A, and I do all the plannings, and I have a lot of meetings, unfortunately. I wish, sometimes I miss the time where I was in the trenches doing this stuff. Now I'm basically meetings and helping to solve problems. And this is what I do. I know that uh, I put my all my tasks, and I do this uh, task one, task two, task three. Basically, that's a combination of um, FileFX Planner and uh, I think it's called uh, Franklin 
Colby planner and uh, his approach. And this is what I do. And to uh, I plan all the meetings, I, I write down everything, all the things that I would like to finish during this day. And uh, sometimes if I have a personal stuff that needs to be done, what I do is I put it in in the green color. I don't uh, usually have, I don't know, I skip this time for lunch and I walk over row and my task for my family that I need to do. And when the, I write down all the things, what I do, I put a line. And this line indicates for me that these tasks I added before the day start, before the day starts, because 100%, almost every day, I will get something uh, coming from either my manager or from other uh, colleagues, colleagues that I will have to do. And I will write them down. Task 6, task 7. And this will give me an idea that, okay, this one came after the day. And I, when the day starts, I prioritize them from A, those that must must be done. There is nothing they must be done 100%. And B, that should be done. And C, I wish if I have time, I do this. And uh, every day it's different. This one is uh, B and C, let's say. And I put those tasks. And when I start doing those tasks, I mark them down as soon as they're done. Done mark them down. And during the day, when I have meetings, I record notes, a lot of notes, notes from meeting one here, notes meeting two, or I have, a, I have an email or a phone call and my, uh, or a Slack message where my colleague tells me, hey, I need information about uh, project six and uh, he needs that information on January the 5th. I write this down and uh, what I usually do, I have, as you can see, I have six tabs here and each tab, tab represents, uh, represents a project. Uh, if I need to get some information, what I do, I move it and I move it to uh, on January the 6th, so it's going to be 1, 6. And when I go, and I don't have January 6th here, but when I go and I find January the 6th, and I put down what I need to do. The same goes with uh, the notes. I write down the notes, and if a note is important that I, I need to either present it later or have a reference or something else, I move this note to my project one. And this one goes to here, one of my projects, one, two, three, four. Each, each tab represents a project and I add uh, either a paper sheet or I continue my notes on uh, those uh, paper sheets that are already there. And if something is just unimportant, okay, I just write it down and that's it. I don't move it anywhere. So let's, uh, by the end of the day, I go and I review, okay, this task, uh, this task I finished. I finished this one. I did not finish this one. So it's either wasn't that important. And if it's not that important, I just cross it out. I don't need to do it at all. But let's say this C tasks, it became an important one and I need to do it. What I do, I move it and I say I need to do it on January the 2nd. And when I plan my day for the January the 2nd, I say this is task number, task number four. I need to do task number four. And if it's important, I immediately put A1 as an important one. And uh, this has been my I don't know, structure my plan for a couple of months.
and I cannot tell you how much time have I saved just because of this, how much headache have I saved from uh, for myself, uh, my employee, employers, uh, employees, and uh, for my colleagues just by doing this simple thing. I usually keep around uh, two months worth of uh, daily notes and uh, that when they are done, I will be transferring them to different parts. But especially using those tabs for each, this is my tab number three, this is my retro meeting, and this is my for renewal of my Scrum Master Certification. And just uh, was writing those things down and uh, watching videos or reading articles, just put them down just for my own reference. And all those notes, they go there. And if I need to do, uh, if I need to reference them, I can always go back and uh, find them out. And here, usually in my work meetings, let's say I will add something here that this note I did on, let's say, April the 2nd. I can go back to my find April the 2nd and read what I was doing and what I was uh, referring to. So I hope it's uh, it's not super messy. I hope it has been a help for you. And please let me down in the comments below the way you are using your file effects or any other planners, the way you are using your notebooks. And uh, maybe there are some tips or tricks that you can recommend for me. And uh, until the next time, have a good one. Bye.